So in this video, I'm going to actually talk about vocals and the production I did for the vocals for a song by Tom Harris is OK um, called Take a Minute. One of my favorite things I've produced, um, he came over from Buenos Aires to my studio. He was over here on holiday and we came to Brighton. We're old friends and um, had a lovely day in the studio recording acoustic guitar, his nylon string guitar, and then also loads of vocals and stuff. It's a beautiful song. It's a ballad style waltz, which has a very um, quite intimate beginning. Wanted the beginning of the song to feel like it's really small and brings you in, like just the guitar and vocal, very dry. And then as the song develops, new things come in, some electric guitars come in, and it eventually hits a crescendo with a whole choir and loads of other stuff. So the vocal production on this I felt had to kind of stay really honest and dry and organic at the beginning and then slowly match the dynamics of the song with some plate reverb, a bit of doubling and some sort of tape slap back echo and um, there's a rim reverb that's present throughout. The rim reverb I'm using throughout the song sounds like this. It's got other instruments going into it, so it's just like a consistent room helping gel the sounds together that doesn't really change, but everything else is automated. And that's really the main point of this video is to show you if you are looking at interesting ways and good ways to make your vocal feel like it's dynamically matching the music, this is a good way of doing that, or this is one example of how you could do that with automation and effects sense. You don't need to see my face that much in these videos, but it makes it more relatable. Hi. I'm going to give you a quick blast of the beginning of the song as that first verse develops. Space bar. Cold comfort now In this old deserted home Filled boxes Change locks It's a stillness Brings us round. So, really nice, small sounding, but up close sounding nylon string acoustic is Tom's guitar that he's had for many, many years. Brought it over with him to England and we recorded that. And um, as you can hear, it's the narrative is building, he's telling you, he's setting the scene, and then some electric guitar comes in, and then some atmospheric sounds happening in the background. But the whole time, the vocals are really dry and right up front, like he's singing right in front of you. So the first kind of part of the song, the first verse or so, if you look at the automation here, these are my effects. We've got the room reverb, we've got the wide slap, the warm mono plate, and the doubler. And so first verse, pretty much nothing just to give you that intimate thing and then as the song develops this first chorus comes in it's not the biggest chorus but it is a nice it's pronounced and this is that change up here take a minute take as long as you need a lot of energy in there goes to its higher register and so to give that energy this is where i brought in the mono plate reverb and if i isolate that doesn't sound that bad on the recording it's got a little bit of artifacts the way that we're capturing this it's a plate reverb based on an old vintage reverb unit it's a emt reverb by Archuria plate 140 and I've created my own preset which has no width to it and it's medium length and it's kind of EQ'd so that the vocal doesn't clash too much with it. So that's coming in on the choruses. Not particularly happy with that sound in this particular recording but the doubler comes in here too. Take us long and the whole point of this these two effects coming in here. One is to just elongate the notes. A plate reverb is lovely, just adds drama basically. Every note has a little bit of an extension. 
helps it glue with the music as the music's get bigger like a plate reverb's quite expressive i find and then the doubler and i'm using a plugin by isotope which is a sort of doubler plugin that's it's a freebie actually and you just set it so that i've set it 100 percent wet and it kind of fakes a doubling effect because we didn't actually double the vocals but and it's only really subtle but it just adds the sense of more energy if you've got a doubled vocal and you tuck the doubled vocal underneath the lead vocal is still very much in the foreground and then the double vocal just has this adds energy and movement it's the whole point of doubling really is to kind of create more of something and if you want emotion in the lead vocal you can add more emotion by adding a double underneath and so yeah that's what that sounds like if you have hear the chorus don't really notice it but it's there and it adds dimension that's the nice thing about doubling if you use it subtly it's it's really powerful if you use it really boldly still cool but it can be a bit it can start to sound a little bit like chorusy or a little bit um you know you could lose the intimacy of a vocal if you add loads of doubles and too much doubling in there second verse as the song develops again the second verse we've got more instrumentation and tom goes into a higher falsetto he's quite gentle and so with this kind of slapback sound that comes in, it just helps that kind of frilliness and that soft vocal to to move a little bit and just have a little bit more character. The plugin I'm using is Tape Echoes by Softube, which I think is a really, really amazing tape delay echo. Some EQ going on and then a little bit of like dirt wobble, so the tape's not quite stable. It just adds a little bit of movement. It sounds like this on its own. Who left us there? There are few who know more and in the than track. you are So these things aren't brash, really loud effects. They're only being blended in a small amount. These things add up. These subtle little moves add up. And I, I you know, think subtlety is key when you're dealing with a ballad like this you don't want to make it all over processed and um too clever so yeah second verse no mono plate reverb no doubling just this slap back that comes in and as the song builds even more and we'll gently close the tom's moves back down to his mid register gets a bit more pronounced and that's where we're bringing the plate reverb back the next chorus hits much bigger Take a minute here solo vocal take as long as you need there's no finish here here we've got the doubler the plate and the slap all happening together Apologies for that slight artifacts going on. It's just because of the way this video is being recorded and I haven't set it up properly. The only kind of comment I'll make beyond that really is this, this particular style of vocal production is matched to this style of song. All the instrumentation is from real instruments and the drums obviously are samples, but they use real samples. I haven't used any drum machines. There is a little bit of sort of subtle analog synthesizer in there but the, the choir is a real choir the synth that we've got going on is sort of an organic sounding type synth it's not too like shiny like it's firmly in the world of real instruments with some added kind of vintage flavors from the synths and so i've used a plate reverb because that's a vintage style reverb i've used a tape slap back delay because that's you know would have been what they used back in the day and this vocal doubling technique is not an over it's not loads of chorus or stereo widening it's just a straight up doubler so these are chosen because they work with this particular type of music so i would always say matching the style of vocal production to the song to the emotion of the song to the other things that are around it don't think oh i have a stock vocal sound let's load up my preset and move on it's um yeah i hope you've hope you found something useful there key thing is automation 
blending effects that complement each other and complement the the vibe of the music and don't overdo it if you really want the vocal to be front and center and not have distractions and check out the song it's it's out it's been out for a while it's an absolute beauty i'm going to do some more videos on the instrumentation for it and stuff so look out for those and um yeah have a good one bye <laughs>